Hey guys, in this video, I am going to talk about Puppet. Puppet is a configuration management tool which enables the system administrators to work faster and smarter with the help of automations. As Puppet and we have many more configuration tools are available in the market. But today we are going to talk about Puppet and topics discussed in these sessions are what is Puppet? Why do we use Puppet? How Puppet works? And understanding the Puppet architecture and its components. And finally, how the Puppet connections are getting established between Puppet master and client agent nodes. And you are watching LanityGate.net tutorials. So let me give you a short introduction about Puppet. So what is Puppet? Puppet is a configuration management tool which is available as an open source as well as enterprise versions. It runs on many Unix like systems as well as on Microsoft Windows. Alright. So Puppet is produced by Puppet Labs and it is founded by Luke Canis in 2005. It is written in Ruby language and it is released as free software under GNU public license all right until the version 2.7.0 after that it's been released with Apache license 2.0 right. basically puppet is designed to manage the configuration of Unix like and Microsoft Windows systems declaratively the user describes system resources and the state either using Puppet's declarative language or a Ruby DSL language. Alright, so we'll explain you in detail going forward. Now we'll see why do we use Puppet. Simple, we use Puppet because Puppet is a configuration management tool which is more powerful that helps the system administrators to automate the provisioning configurations and management of your entire server infrastructures so assume that you have 10,000 or 20,000 servers in your data center so it is quite difficult to manage your entire servers all right for example if you wanted to do some configurations on all, all your 10,000 servers it's not easy to log into each servers and perform the configuration changes right so by using this kind of configuration management tool which reduce our time also it work faster as well as in a smart manner all right so puppet enables system administrators and devops works faster and smarter this is why we use this kind of configuration management tool not only to do the configuration changes as well as you can perform provisioning also you can manage your entire data center servers all right this is why we use Puppet. And next one is how Puppet works. Alright. So as every concept, as every management tool has, Puppet also having a centralized master server. Alright. So all the changes, all the configuration states are defined in this server. So according to that, the client agents will react it. Alright. So how it works? Simple these informations is stored in file called puppet manifest with extension of dot pp all right so pp means puppet policy all right so all the information about the resource status all right i will tell you what is resource status in the uh, upcoming slides so all these informations will be stored in a file called puppet manifest and that puppet manifest file should be in the extension of dot pp all right and the puppet discovers the system information via a utility called factor all right and it compiles the puppet manifest into a system specific catalog containing the resources and resource dependencies which are applied against the target system all right which means the client system 
so any actions taken by puppet are then reported all right so it will be very clear in the upcoming slides if you see the architecture how it works all right quite simple there would be a puppet manifest file with the extension of dot ppv where you have to declare your resources and resource status to be applied at the client end all right according to that the agent will go to the puppet master server and it will get the information according to that puppet manifest file it will change the resource status all right now the puppet architecture all right this is quite simple as every management tool we have a puppet master which is a centralized server all right which has all the information to be managed by puppet all right inside that puppet master you will be having a puppet dashboard puppet model forge and as well as the data to be deployed at the client end all right and all the nodes will be integrated with your puppet master so that all these clients will be managed by your puppet master this is quite simple all right and all the clients will have a puppet agent clear this is the puppet architecture very simple now we we'll see in detail what is puppet master what is puppet agent what is catalog all right so what is puppet master puppet master is a service runs on the main server all right puppet master is a service runs on the main server which used to manage your entire clients to deploy configure and maintains the infrastructure servers clear which is a master server which manage all your clients and puppet agent obviously it will be at the client end all right so the puppet agent is a service which runs on the client which sends the request for the catalog to the puppet master and it fetches the catalog and applies it by checking each resources the catalog describes which means the puppet manifest file what you have described over there according to that it will check each resources state if it finds any resources that are not in the desired state as a defined it will make the changes to correct them at the client end after applying the catalog the agent submits a report to the puppet master clear then catalog i was telling previously the catalog right so what is catalog catalog is a simple document that describes the state resource state for one specific server all right so it lists all of the resources that need to be managed as well as any dependencies between those resources all right i will give you a few examples so it will be easy for you to understand it much better now manifest as i said before manifest are files with the extension .pp where we declare all resources to be checked or to be changed so i was telling keep on that resources so what is resources simple any thing you are going to change at the client end are called resources that might be files packages services and so on all right so in resources there are two types one would be a type all right under type packages services file user mount execute everything will come under a type and a title all right so title in the sense how the resource types are called and referred all right so i will give you the syntax which is which i have mentioned below so in the puppet manifest file you have to declare the resources in this syntax all right so this is very easy if you understand it on the first line you have to give the type all right what type of resources you are going to manage all right type within the brace you have to give your declaration all right the first would be title okay for which resources you are going to manage the title for example if you are going to manage for your package then give a title within the code then colon then package name so it is easy for us to track the information all right in the logs then argument equal to greater than symbol the value then other argument equal to greater than symbol value the argument is nothing but uh, service status or package install or uninstall for example if you wanted to stop a service 
so i would be giving the argument as um, service state and the value would be stopped all right so what will happen if the client at the client end the service is running now the client will send a report to the puppet master to fetch this information here we have declared that this resource services should be stopped but the service is running at the client end now according to this manifest file it will stop the service at the client end all right so this is what the argument and the value so this is the simple syntax i have given you in a easy manner now with the examples all right so assume that we are going to use a sample resources one is to verify the open ssh package is installed or not all right and the next one is to create a mortd file and the next one is to start a http services if you wanted to perform these actions and the syntax should be like this all right as i told you before the package as i told you before this is the package which means the type is package you are going to perform something on type package and the package the title i told you right the title open ssh so it is easy for me to understand what it is and ensure which means whether it is present or not ensure the package is present or not. the value should be present if it is not present it will install the package at the client end clear now type of the resource is file and i have, i refer that as the title is motd and path equal to etc motd if this file is not exist over there it will touch the file now if you wanted to perf to start uh, http services and my syntax would be service what is service type of resource and the title i call it as httpd and ensure whether it is running or not all right so now assume that the server end it is stopped all right now the client is giving a request to the puppet master to find any manifest is defined or not yes it is defined as to run all right ensure it is running or not but at the client end it is not running so what will happen according to this manifest it will start running the service clear yeah. as well as i have given one more argument that is to enable true which means after the reboot also my service should be start all right that declaration that is the argument called enable hope you all understand this point all right so the next one is resource types and its reference all right if you wanted to know what are the resource types reference are available associated with puppet then use this command puppet describe file file is a type all right puppet describe package puppet describe service this is how you can give you can check all your resource types reference all right if you wanted to know the full list of available description execute the below command that is puppet describe hyphen hyphen list clear now again one more component we have that is classes all right so classes are a containers or groups of different resources this is quite simple for example you wanted to perform uh, changes at the client end but the resources may have multiple child resources all right so for example i have given you a class definition that is you are going to perform something related to mysql all right associated with this mysql you will be having multiple resource checks that is first thing you need to check whether the package type is exist or not again the service type you should check whether it is running or not right these are multiple types associated with a single class right so this is a container or group you can form a group or you can create a container associated with multiple resource types in a single class all right last but not least how the puppet connection are getting established between puppet master and puppet agent nodes all right so this is this communication happens within your existing network and this 
puppet agent nodes and puppet master communicate via HTTPS which is SSL with client verifications so at the both the end you will be having a signature verification and it should be signed and acknowledged by the puppet master then only your connection will be getting established All right so the puppet master provides an HTTP interface with various endpoints all right when requesting or submitting anything to the master by the client end the agent makes an HTTPS request to one of those endpoints all right hope you have got an idea about the basic of puppet hope you have got an idea about this session if you like this video please do appreciate your effort in the comment section as well as hit like button hope you have subscribed our channel if not do subscribe now to not miss any further updates Thanks for watching this video.